I don't know why I compose music. All I know is that when I don't compose it, I'm very dissatisfied with life. It's uh, one way that I can really connect with musicians whose playing really excite me and I think, boy, what could I write that I could just hear this in their playing? It's wonderful to write for these people I know so well and as I write it, I can hear them playing it and yet still they'll surprise me and it's one of the things I'm really looking forward to. One of the extraordinary strengths of Maestro Ricardo Muti is when he has a text, when he has um, words, the way he can bring them to life in music is one of my favorite things about his conducting, so I was really excited by that opportunity. When Liesl Mueller won the Pulitzer Prize, a short poem she wrote, a short poem about the hounds and the hares, was printed in the New York Times. And I'm not a particularly avid poetry reader, but this poem just hit me between the eyes. I couldn't get it out of my imagination. And I immediately thought I wanted to set it to music. And I found out that at that time, she lived in Lake Forest, was practically a neighbor, and we got together. We've um, spent um, many wonderful um, times together. And um, she's become a friend and someone I really treasure. It hovers in dark corners before the lights are turned on. It shakes sleep from its eyes and drops from mushroom gills. And this idea of hovering in dark corners before the lights are turned on. So I had this image of a string bass. We have um, Alex Hanna, who's playing I absolutely love as our principal bass. And one of the central musical ideas is the bass from its bottom of its register sort of defying the nature of the instrument and defying gravity and soaring up into the mezzo-soprano's register, reaching the mezzo-soprano above all odds. There's a wonderful locution by um, Glenn Gould where he says that for music to really work, every line, every note has to have a past and a future. So I make sure that it's, it's always going somewhere. <laughs>